Welcome, welcome to, to church. church. My name's Ruth and it is so good to be able to finally welcome you back to our church buildings again. My name's Chris and I'm the vicar and it is so great that we can meet in person once more. We've been preparing for this day for a little while and from the start of September our services are going to be happening once more in person. You can join us here on Sunday mornings at St John's in the town centre. That's at 8.30 for a traditional service or 10.30 for an all-age service. And then on Thursday mornings for Holy Communion on the Ladybrook Estate at St Mary's or on Sunday afternoons for a short reflective service and then private prayer afterwards. The doors will be opening here 10 minutes before the start of the service and there'll be someone here to welcome you. Lord bless you and keep you As in most other public buildings, it's going to be compulsory for you to wear masks in church, but you can be assured that our welcome team are going to be giving you the biggest smiles behind them. Members of our welcome team will greet you here, and if you're not sure where you're going or it's your first time into the building, do let them know. We'll be taking everyone's details as part of the government's track and trace programme. We'll ask you to sanitise your hands as you come in. Now, obviously, this is a sign for the times, but we thought it also relates to an ancient tradition where Christians would often wash their hands as they come into church as a sign to God that they want to approach him with clean hands and a pure heart, uh, with a fresh start. And so as you sanitise your hands on your way into church, perhaps you want to think of it as a way of preparing yourself for worship. The stewards will then direct you around the one-way system to find you somewhere to sit that will be obviously at a safe distance from other people. During the service, we ask that you will usually remain in your pews. If you've been before, there'll be some elements which you're really familiar with. We'll hear from the Bible and have God's words explained to us, and we'll pray together. Instead of singing, we'll be worshipping God through some different ways. We'll still be using music, but we'll be worshipping through words, through stillness, and in some of our services, through creativity and activity. In some of our services, we'll be remembering the night that Jesus died in the communion service. And when we do that, you'll be asked to come up to the front to receive uh, just bread at this time. When you come up to receive communion, do put your hands right out and the person who's giving out the bread will drop the bread into your hands to minimize any contact there. And please follow the one-way system as you leave to go back to your pew. At the end of the service, we'll ask you to leave fairly promptly, following the one-way system through a different doorway to the one that you came in through. Unfortunately, we're not able to join together for tea and coffee at the end of our service like we normally would. As church, we really value community, and it's quite difficult um, in these times to be community together. So we'll keep looking for ways to be community throughout the week. And remember that wherever we are gathered or scattered, God is with us and we are the church.